Uh, Liverpool's Trent Alexander-Arnold made a, a pointed reference to City's failure, Trevor, to win the Champions League, suggesting that uh, his own club's trophy hall is far superior. We don't feel disappointed that we haven't won enough trophies because, you know, we feel like the trophies we have won are the biggest biggest and the best that, that you can get your hands on. And, you know, obviously not making any digs, but you look at Man City's amazing team. They haven't been able to lift the Champions League, so... They've won a couple of Prems, but they haven't been able to win the Champions League. We've won both over the last few years, so it just shows that we're able to do it in both competitions. There's an expectation now, I think, as a team, as players, to win trophies. I think one trophy minimum a season is, is what we need to be achieving. And I think, obviously, next week we have the opportunity to, to go and grab that. But I think, yeah, with the squad we've got, the team, the players, the, the manager... We we should be winning trophies. We expect that of ourselves, and if we don't, then it's a massive disappointment. Oh, Trevor, how dare he? I mean, if it does come down to quality over quantity, he's spot on. Liverpool win it, don't they? Because four trophies under Klopp since 2015, the Premier League, the Champions <coughs> League, Trevor, the Champions League, the Club World Cup and the Super Cup. So quality wins out, and Trent's right. Well, that's your opinion, Jim. My opinion is any manager worth his salt goes into a season to win their domestic league. Manchester City are on course to win their fourth in in five years in the Premier League. Um, so I would say that's where the quality is. The fact that they haven't got over the Champions League yet, we've discussed that before. Yeah. And I feel Pep, even if Pep doesn't win the Champions League, I think the fans will understand what, they've, what he's done for the football club. But I think it will be a blot on his uh, CV if he doesn't win the Champions League with Manchester City. But looking at the, what they're achieving on the pitch week in, week out, the consistency, uh, the quality of the recruitment, the due diligence that they're putting into the players that they bring in. And a lot of the players we don't know much about before they arrive. Uh, Ube, apart from Grealish, a lot of the players are, are kind of play on the continent. Um, we don't really think too much of them because they're playing in a different league with you know with uh, and they bring them in and all of a sudden the world beaters and you know I think the coaching's got a lot to do with that. Um, but Trevor, I mean, come on now. I mean, Trent has got a point when when you look at it. If the it only is put, the only point on quality, Liverpool, no, I would strip them. No, the only no, point Trent's no. got is that they've won the Champions League, which you know everyone, every City fan understands that that's a, a trophy that Manchester City is still to win, and they're trying to do that. You can't listen. First and foremost, if you look at the Champions League, it is arguably the biggest ball ball, but it's a cup competition made up of 13 games, not 38, of which six of those games are rubbers in a league, which ultimately a lot of these sides wouldn't even compete in the Premier League. So let's get comparison mm -hmm. with comparison. And Liverpool won the and, Premier League. And Liverpool won the Premier League. But when, but when Liverpool won the Champions League, they played against an English team in the final, of which both of those teams finished beneath Man City in the league. So it's not arguable just because you've won two... You can't put the Club World Cup and the Super Cup into a category of comparing and contrasting against three Premier Leagues, one FA Cup, four League Cups. You can't. You just simply can't. One FA Cup, four League Cups. Four League Cups, yeah. You can't... You can't I mean, you, many you Liverpool fans would just say, we'll just put a line through that. You them. can't suggest that... We've, we've, we've won an argument, which is four trophies against ten. In those four trophies, we've got... Uh, a Club World Cup and a Super Cup. Oh, come on now. If you want to take those out, then take them out and we'll take out the four League Cups, right? And then we'll compare three Premier Leagues and one FA Cup against one Premier League and one Champions League. The, 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 the hole in the argument for Man City is the Champions League. And it's a big hole. It's a big hole. But you cannot suggest that, that winning, two tournament, winning two trophies every single season against 0.8 of a trophy every season is a comparable record. Whilst you can argue that quantity and quality are two different things, you'd like to have both. That's the argument. Oh, that's yeah. an, an, an ideal world. Of yeah. winning the, Trevor is absolutely right. Everybody, every manager worth their salt will say, that, will say it's the domestic title that details where you really are. Yeah, and cup competitions like the European Cup or the Champions League, which we laughably call the Champions League because 90% of the teams in it aren't <laughs> actually champions... So let's get context. It, it, Wonderful it, Liverpool it, won four. The Champions League is the elite one. It's it's the, it's elite, the elite bobble, no, as you would it's say. It's the elite cup competition. It's a cup competition. It's a, it, you've got six rubbers in the group stages. Half of these teams wouldn't be anywhere near competitive in the Premier League. You know, some of these sides that they're playing in the group stages, the first six games, a lot of the games they're playing aren't against the elite sides. And then you get the next six or seven games because it's 13 games that wins you a Champions League. But look at this Premier League. That wins you a Premier but look league. at this Premier League as things stand at the moment. You've got three strong, strong teams going yes. after it. Yes. And then there's all the rest. Yes. So what's the point? 
We're talking well, about we're talking about Liverpool and we're talking about the trophy hall between Liverpool and Man you're City. You're saying it's amazing quality in there and competitiveness. No, it's not. City are running away with it. No, the, against and Europe, Liverpool are no, no, trying no, 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 as, no, as no, they no. can to peg follow, them back. Follow the logic of the argument. In comparison to the European tournament, the reasons why the European Cup is perceived Champions League is perceived to be the ball ball that everyone wants is because you're arguably playing against the best teams in Europe. But if all the best teams in Europe predominantly exist inside the Premier League because we've seen all the European finals now. Over the last three or four years, we're seeing Domination. more European finals being competed <clears throat> solely by English clubs. So the argument is there that actually not only we dominate, not only do we have a very strong league, we actually have a strong set of clubs dominating Europe. So I think both of these clubs have had tremendous achievements. Yes. I think if you look at Klopp's record and given the amount of PR he gets and given the amount of reputation he's got because he's a brilliant manager, he's been there seven years and he's won four trophies. It's not going back to Bob Paisley, is it? It ain't going back to Bill Shankly's days, and that's when Liverpool dominated. It's not going back to the achievements of Liverpool in the past, yet he's got the biggest reputation of, of all of them, mm. arguably. Mm. If, if, if you are Klopp, uh, Trev, would you want Trent Alexander-Arnold coming away with this? Um, I, th- I think as a manager, you want to win your players to be I mean, it stirs as quiet a pot as possible. It stirs um, the pot. Listen, the nine points clear of Liverpool. Uh, they've won 43 points out of the last five, 45 available. I don't think it's going to affect Manchester City in any way, shape, or form. So it, it's probably something for the fans to listen to and have a little bit, little bit of debate as we are here. But you know, the proof is in the pudding. Manchester City are on course to win their fourth title in five years, and I think that's where. And that's they are. I think that's, that's where. where that's... Craig, good morning, Liverpool fan. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you, guys. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, Craig. Uh, so, so where, where's your head on this one? Are you with Trent Alexander-Arnold? I am with him. Yeah, I, th- I think Trevor needs to take his blue tinted glasses off for a second and realise that the reason they've won so many League Cups is because of the money they've spent. And when he said they've gone out to Europe and bought unknown players, they've got half a billion pounds on a back four. So the Reserve Cup and the League Cup is why they've been able to do that, because they've got such a big squad, which is probably arguably why they've had the success in the Premier League, because they've had the, uh, the players and their exposure that other clubs perhaps haven't when they've had injuries. Oh, what would you say to No, they, to have, they, they, have spent, they have spent a lot of money on players, but they've recruited well. You see other clubs buying expensive players and it not working out for them. Um, but I think Manchester City's due diligence, the way that they um, recruit players, whether it's data-based or performance-based, they get it right. And, uh, you know, I think lack of injuries as well. They keep the squad fit. Um, and they've got, they have got a strong squad and I understand his argument when you're going into these say lesser cup com- competitions you've got more of a chance of putting out a good team and winning that tournament and I also agreed with you Craig I, I think obviously the, the Champions League is the one that Manchester City really need um, to be kind of looked upon from everyone else as unbelievable uh, of what they've achieved but going back to uh, the Premier League you know it's the, you know this it's the bread and butter um, you know I think Liverpool set the standards in the 70s yeah um, but Manchester City uh, of recent times this is going to be their fourth title if they can get over the line there's still a lot, a lot of work and to do to be honest Trevor Trevor you've got a point Craig you'd have to change your tune somewhat if, if Pep and City go on to win a fourth Premier League title since 2016 and certainly if they go on to win the Champions League everything changes then Craig doesn't it? I think when they win the Champions League, I think it does change. Um, but I also think that with the money they've spent, and you can say they've, they've spent well, but they've wasted £50 million on Ferran Torres, who's now gone back to Barcelona, who probably played 10, 15 Premier League games. Yeah, they I made money on him, got Craig. That luxury. They made money on they him, did, Craig. They, haven't got that, they might have, but they haven't got the luxury. Other clubs haven't got that luxury to go and buy £50 million players that then don't work out. I, th- I think he was. It, it, the club were quite happy to keep him because they were quite happy with his progression and his development. But, go, but, go but I think Craig's, he wanted to go back. Going to Craig's central point, right? Because Man City already were on a, on a par with Liverpool in terms of having built a squad because they've had this money for seven years, right? Yeah. So when you take the time that they've been together, and the facts of the matter is, is that every single Premier League point that's been won by Guardiola has cost Man City six hundred and sixty-seven thousand pounds. Every single point that's been spent by well, won by Liverpool has cost Man, uh, because Liverpool but under Klopp has cost them two hundred and forty-three thousand pounds so Guardiola has spent three times the amount of money that Klopp has spent so the argument about the reality yeah, but you of have to remember if you, if you, when, when, when Pep no, no, took no, no, over no, no, at that no, no, team no, 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 they were an aging side no, there no, to get no, rid of no, a no, lot no. of players and so Liverpool Klopp took over a side that were, in, were, uh, were uh, disappointed after losing and were in, in disarray after Bre- uh, Brendan Rodgers had lost his way in that 15 season you've got to compare and contrast yeah. if you compare the time they've been there uh, Guardiola has spent three times fact 
three times the amount of money. Now, if you give, if you gave Klopp six hundred and sixty-seven thousand pounds per point one in the Premier League in the six years that he's been there, he would may well be in the same situation as Guardiola is in because Guardiola is a checkbook manager. It's unarguable. The, the, the it's numbers are there. there. Uh, listen, Trevor. I think all the clubs have spent a lot of money. Manchester United have spent very similar to what Manchester City have spent. Liverpool have spent less. Man, Chelsea Man have spent a lot of money. Man United have spent the most. They spent one point four million yeah, so pounds spent, per point. But what I'm saying is, we're not all talking the clubs about Man United. We're talking I'm about, talking we're talking about, about philosophy. I think the philosophy that Pepper's got in a possession you base. You have a philosophy if you've got three times the amount of money. But it doesn't matter who he's adding there. He's always stuck to that philosophy anyway. I think it's of a philosophy. buying the best players. I think it's a philosophy to win football matches by let's taking buying the, ball, the best players by having the possession. Let's hear from Danny, who's another Liverpool fan. Danny, good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to come on here this morning and make the point of you, you, Man City. Yeah, they've won all these Premier League titles. That's correct. But again, look at look at the money they have spent. You're not a big club until you've won the Champions League. You, you, you're just not a big club. You accept that, Trev? Not a big club until you win the Champions not League. Not really, no. I think there's a lot of big clubs that have not won the Champions League. Manchester City are one of them, but I think it's 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 it's, it's going to happen. It's just when. I think it's going to happen. Are you a big club if you win the Premier League? Oh, he's away. He's away, Mark. Because well, um, you didn't win it for 30 years. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.